Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. Today we are diving deep into fascinating string manipulation problem. So if you ever wonder how to decode string with a specific format, or you have been uh, intrigued by stack-based solution, you are in the right place. So uh, task uh, number 394, decode string from uh, lead code and given an encoded string return is decoded string. So the encoding rule are as follows. So uh, brackets encoded string and key encoded string where the encoded string inside the square bracket is being repeated exactly key times. So original data does not contain any uh, digits and digits are only for those repeated number of uh, key. So let's look at some uh, example. So if we have uh, three, yeah, let's make it bigger, three uh, A in the bracket, uh, two uh, B, C, what we should uh, output. So we need to output three A, so A, A, A. So this is this part. And then uh, twice this part, so BC and BC uh, twice. So one time and second, and here we have one, two, three, three times A. So uh, you understand what uh, we need to do, but also there are mm, some more uh, examples. So for example, three A to C, and it's really interesting because we have double bracket and output, uh, as you can see, should be A and then C, C, because this part is for uh, C, C, and this part is for A. And this part we need to repeat three times uh, as uh, here. So A, C, C, and also A, C, C. Okay, so now when we understand uh, the problem, uh, let's break it down. So our task is to decode strings that follow a specific front. And the key here is to understand how nested structure work. So, and guess what? Stacks are the perfect tool for this. Uh, so let's start with our main function. So we uh, use two uh, stacks, one uh, for number and another for uh, character. So let's implement it. So num stack and character stack will be empty and current num will be zero and current string will be empty string. So uh, we will also need two variables, uh, cumulative number and uh, yeah, current number and current string. And we uh, are processing current string for the current string. And uh, next step is uh, iterating through the string. So let's analyze uh, it character by character. <clears throat> so for char in S, if char is digit, uh, current num will be current num times 10 plus int char, else it's character. So we pick a bracket and num stack append current num and character stack append uh, current string and current num will be uh, zero. So uh, if the character is digit, it's part of a number. So since a number can be multi-digit, we will multiply the current number by 10 uh, and add uh, the digits. And uh, now if uh, we encounter an opening bracket, uh, it means we uh, are about to process a new encoded string. So we will push the current number uh, and string to their respective uh, stacks. So current number and also uh, current uh, string will be pushed to uh, stack. So, uh, then what we will do, uh, so 
The magic happens when we hit a closing bracket. So then we will pop the last number and string uh, from our stack and decode the nested structure. So let's implement it. So uh, current string will be empty. And now else character is closing bracket. So repeat num will be num stack pop and previous string will be character stack pop and current string will be previous string plus repeat num times current string and else will be current uh, string plus our character and return current string. Uh, so any other character, so simply append it to our current string because it could be the uh, end character uh, or something. So we just append it uh, as in example. And finally, we will return a decoded uh, string as uh, yeah, return a current string. So the beauty of this approach is how we use stack to handle nested uh, structure and it's really common for uh, task with uh, brackets. So let's run it to verify it's working for these three examples. So all good. So we can submit it for unsynthesized cases as well. And yeah, so all good. And as you can see, we beat 85% uh, with respect to runtime. So it's a good solution. 36 millisecond and yeah all good uh, and if you found this solution uh, insightful don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more uh, coding adventure uh, tutorials and much more and for those who code in other uh, languages uh, check out the description below uh, so i have also implemented it or will implement it uh, in uh, go Rust, C++, and much more. Uh, so uh, until next time, keep practicing and happy coding.